It's match time. Yep. Loser's semis at Monday Night Melee. Pack combo versus Thorax. So, Thorax, we've talked a little bit about. Um, we know this guy as someone who's constantly building tools. His repertoire is slowly building and getting much more mature. Uh, at least in Wobbles. That, that's a lot of what Wobbles has been talking about with him. Now, Pat Combo, on the other hand, this man knows what he's doing with Peach. Um, this particular matchup is kind of interesting. Uh, the reason being is that Fox likes to use Shine to, to kind of push people away, and Shine is a commitment of using Down and B. If you get caught doing down, shine, uh, get caught doing Shine by uh, Smash, by Down Smash, you can pretty much get rocked. Yeah, get rocked. Um, those multiple holding down will get taking Down Smash from Peach is like the worst thing you could possibly do. Oh man, man, another Down Smash. We saw it before actually in the match against Hamiojo. Pat Combo used that to just completely shift the momentum in his favor. It so just tacked on so much percentage and made it so that what looked like a game that was clearly in Hamiojo's favor actually. Ended up being one for Pat, and he took that set 2-0 after that momentum swing. Thorax is doing a good job, though, of of keep of playing to to lock the strengths, which is using the gun from the, from a distance, getting the free percentage, and then if he's coming in, he's going to use drill crossover and shine and try to push out Pat Combo and still get the damage. And it's true, Peach does have that turn up. He's got projectiles of her own, when, but whenever you're eating that much damage from lasers, you can't help but figure out how it is that you're going to be transversing the stage, trying to contest some of the spaces, and making your opponent to feel very uncomfortable even dishing those out. Nice little drill shine, but unable to connect with the up smash afterwards. Pack combo, able to put on the shield just in time. Yeah, there it is, jab up smash. The signature stuff from Fox. Of course you want to use that uh, that option, because jab comes out there pretty non-committal, and as soon as you link that into up smash, you're going to be sitting pretty with the next stock coming up. So, yet again, we're talking, uh, you're seeing a lot of, of Florax doing these same ideas that, he's been, uh, that we implemented crossing up, using Shine. It's so integral that he hits the Shine afterwards, though, because if not, he's still within range for that down smash to come out and take him in. Hmm. Pat tried to go ahead and punish Thorax's recovery on the platform. Some nice little movements near the ledge allowed him to snag that back air before Pat could go ahead and put on some punishment. Nice, barely avoiding the space with that nair. A little bit of an aerial trade there. Thorax connecting with the up air. Spacing himself, but wow, really smart from Pat. And a bit of a flub from Thorax as he was trying to probably find a nice angle. Ends up side being instead of using the Firefox. Down a stock once again. This is tough for Thorax. Peach is really solid when it comes to trading uh, when you're ahead. Yeah, I, for me when I play this matchup, I try to take as little risk as possible. I don't, I don't ever really want to um, overextend. If I'm, I'm going to go mostly for the guaranteed stuff. And once I start conditioning them to start wanting to shield, the throw game can kind of start opening up a bit more. And as soon as I get them above, I mean, it's it's still a bit of a risk because as soon as you have Peach on top, if they guess that you want to up air them and they're still sitting in neutral, they can just down smash just as easily and you're thrown in the mix. For what it's worth, Pat's tournament utilization has not been the best. He had a stitch, I believe, uh, a couple of seconds ago, but it really didn't lead to anything. Kind of just threw it to the ground. He threw the rest of the cake too. Nice, Thorax really smart, jumping, avoiding that down smash. It's a little bit of a drill, but not much afterwards. So trying to tack on this percentage from afar. Beautiful jab up smash. The elevation from that platform allowed him to go ahead and seal that stock. One stock lead in favor of Thorax. Can he hold on? Or is Pat going to be taking out another DFW member? He's done a good job of, of just keeping the, the lead at least somewhat close, right? Um, because Thorax had been dealing with... Oh, no, there it is. He's, the entire match has been always at least sub relatively close. And it's because Thorax has been cashing in wherever he can. He's made every input count. Um, so he's been really economical this match. Yeah, sure. he's definitely made inputs count. The shine actually clanked with the first hit of the down smash, but I think the rest of the hits are what sent Thorax kind of flying. Correct. Ooh. Ooh. Once again, Pat Happy using the B. Yeah, we've seen that a couple of times tonight. Very interesting. Still very, very interesting. It's like that wake up DP. That's the idea. Oh, man. The platform games. Oh, I wanted to see Shine there. Pat's in the corner. Going towards that platform. Thorax yeah. trying to pressure from underneath using those up airs. He did a good choice there because he saw that she had already committed to shield. You have to use the animation of you actually dropping shield in order to do anything, but connecting with that up air off the top, so high. Love the patience from Thorax as well, recognizing that Peach is such a floaty character. Instead of burning his resources, using that double jump immediately, potentially trading with something like an air and being in a, rad, in a really bad position, he waits a little bit, jumps onto the top platform, then sinks up the uh, and lines it up to the point where the up air is dead. Definitely gonna connect. So very smart. The swap 
as we're usually seeing. This is a, a traditional counter pick that Peach is love uh, factor. So the, the thing is with, when it comes to Dreamland is that you have these large blast zones farther and farther out. What Thorax is going to want to do is it, he's building the percentage game even more now. But he gets a bit more distance to use the hit and run tactics, right? So he gets to stay full screen, shoot out those lasers, and see if he can connect with them. Yeah, he, kn he knows that in this matchup, even though Pat has those turnips, based on the way that Pat, one, Pat is utilizing the turnips, and two, how long it actually takes to pull out a turnip, he can go ahead and play full screen if he wants to. And the, the fact that he has this lead is only helping him with that. Nice, cutting off the laser a little bit just to go ahead and sneak in that nair. Down smash actually sends him towards the stage instead of away. You need to make sure whenever, if you have to shield um, Peach's down smash, you want to make sure you angle the shield uh, slightly forward and downward uh, to see if you can maybe even push yourself out a little bit. Okay, multiple lasers. Trying to see if you can catch it. Drop down there. That's not gonna work out. He's gonna, he needs an aerial KO right now. Something off the top is gonna go a long way. Stuck in his shine, trying to cross up the shield, gets the jab, but a little bit, yeah. Great DI combined with Peach's floatiness makes it so that the up smash was unable to connect there. The forward throw, putting him in a precarious position, holds onto the ledge, takes the first stock. Let's see how much extra credit that Pac can get from this, because this I think that was a really, really big first, hit, first stock. Great smash DI. That was some, seriously some really great smash DI. He's still holding on to the stock. Thorax, however, fully charged F smash. Pops him right in the dome. Drifting life away. And that's what you want to see. Whenever you have those people that, when you ever have someone committed to that option, you really want to take advantage of those opportunities. And Thorax is doing a great job off them. He's making anything that comes his way, he's done a good job of at least addressing it. Or at least getting something out of it. Yet again, go with the idea of Akanoff, right? Nice spot from Pat. I think he did a shield drop up air actually to escape the pressure on that platform, but Thorax nearly got himself a KO with that wave shine up smash. Behind the bear, sinks it. Peach has to rely on that parasol recovery. Ooh, Pat's so tricky right now. Makes it back onto the stage. Nice, I love the set of jabs just to contest a potential shield grab. There it is, that back here, just yeah. in time. He, he really, like, threaded the needle there. Yeah, and, and that's what happens. You, you gotta be able to try to sweet spot those recoveries. Thorax, so solid, but wasn't able to convert once again. Pat's done a great job with his parasol, making it back onto the stage. There it is. It's not gonna be enough. This, this is, yet again, the reason why you want this stage. Keep as much... No! What was he trying to do? It, I just, I just don't know. I, I, I maybe like a shine? No. I, and another oh. SD from Thorax, two in a row. Well, it looks like he was going completely in his way, has just shifted entirely. Pack combo still retaining this third stock. It's looking so tough for Thorax. He's gonna need to shake off all of the jitters, not only for this game, but potentially for the next game if he's not able to close it out. And he took that down smash. Like, straight up, if I'm in this position, I've been in this position before. It's and so the rapid hard. jabs, Thorax is calling it. He's, he's done. done. He just he mentally checked out. Those two SDs combined with those rapid jabs at the end just really did a number on him. Dude. Right now in his mind, he has to just say, okay, I need to hit the reset button. I need to hit the reset button more than anything else. Okay, so for someone playing that matchup, it it feels like it's the worst endurance race of all time because you're just constantly going through these cycles. They know that you want up air. They know that you want up smash. And it the, uh, even the higher the percentages, the SDI becomes much more prominent. And the, it it's such a frustrating combination between the two of them. And I I can I can I completely empathize with more on that. It's such a taxing. It's just one of those it's times where you just taxing stage. Yeah, you just need to take a deep breath and just remember that all you need to do is just take four stocks. That's all it is. I, I genuinely like I hate that pairing. It's such a it's it's so potent. So I can understand why people often just say, you know what, I'm just gonna counter fix something that has high somebody has a high knockback. I'll lock Captain Falcon, right? <laughs> No, but I think this is going to be really good for Thorax. We saw a couple times he went for these up smashes, and they didn't quite KO because of Dreamland's high blast zones. Or uh, whenever he went for those horizontal knockback moves, like the Nairs, and they didn't quite KO because of those large blast zones on the side. But Titan blast zones definitely help him out, but they also help Pat, that back air, sending him for a ride. But Thorax catching this turn up, maybe starting to start off a little bit of game of his own. 
Excellent. Yeah. Drop down back here. But that tech was even better. Oh, there's the up tilt. That was really good. That was really clutch, actually, because he, he went for up air immediately, knowing that that was going to hit. And you thought that Pat Combo, he's going to drop down, give me something like a Nair or Bear or Bear, something like that. And immediately up tilt. It's a good, anti it's a good air uh, anti air. Yeah. Relatively close game. Pat Combo over. Extended his lead a bit with that down smash. Back in neutral. Thorax trying to coax Pat Combo with those lasers, putting on a lot of damage. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful execution right now. Uh, yeah, falls right into that bear. Down to nice. tech, another not a chance. Good, good SD on the second Man. hit. Thorax is just doing a really good job punishing Pat Combo anytime he tries to use that upbeat near the ledge. He's fine. He doesn't even attempt to edge guard. He just waits. A drop down bear. That's exactly what he wants. Because as soon as he let his invulnerability slide, he says, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to drop down there. There's nothing you can do about this. And think about Peach's double jump. It has a little bit of that startup. It's not like Fox where she can, he can jump off the ledge and then get on that platform and get up that slight amount of vulnerability, right? From that position, Thorax had the ability to react and cover so many different options. Correct. But that combo, man. He's doing just such a great job consistently just staying in the game, right? Thorax will take a stock, and Pat won't really let him put on too much extra damage before taking the stock back himself. What makes it frustrating? That endurance. And, and look at this. Pat Combo just continuing to just pull away with this game. Back here is putting Thorax off. A rough spot. Up air. Man, I think he was DIing, expecting some kind of a move that would hit him horizontally. That's why we saw some lackluster DI in regards to that vertical move. Wow, those Dash down smashes. Back into down smash. Back combo. It, this is looking really grim for Thorax. Being this far ahead against Peach, it's it's honestly looking like curtains. That's it. Oh, Ooh, yeah. the turn up actually saved him, but Done. the down smash. Maybe if he was a little bit closer, that shine would have connected. But Pat combo ends up slaying another DFW warrior. Ends up sending Thorax home in fourth place. That was just upsetting.